Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. If you are new, hit the subscribe button, give the video a thumbs up, and don't forget to comment down below what you think of this technique. So today I'm gonna to be showing you how to achieve this haircut in only three cuts. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be bringing you the three cut shag. So this is a mini series I'm going to be doing in being able to explain how elevation and over direction works for hairdressers, but also inspire clients to try out something different in the salon by taking some inspiration to their hairdresser. So my last ponytail haircut, the wolf cut, has gone a little bit crazy with people doing it themselves. The videos weren't intended for this, but if you do, Fair play. But I always advise people to come to the salon. So then I'll be showing you the ever so popular shag haircut, but cut in only three sections. So yes, I'm gonna be using the ponytails again, but I'm literally gonna be using that to explain how we can create these looks a little bit differently, a little bit more simpler. So let's get into it. So what we're gonna be looking at is a top ponytail through here, and then two pigtails on the side. And what it is, is the sectioning pattern is a let's get it in is a section from the crown to the corners of the eyebrows that was to come through and carry on like that it would come down and come down and then we just put that up so it's like a a fin shape on top a triangle like that and then we put it up into a ponytail on the side we've just taken a section down the back and then we have brought the ponytails on the side, the pigtails. For if we were sectioning into a hot cross bun section, so through the middle to the back, and then from the high point down to the back of the ear, is where you'll see these pigtails sit. So what you're getting is you'll be getting over direction from the front back to this point. You'll be getting over direction from the back to that point. So we're gonna maintain length through the back we're going to maintain a bit of length through here, but we're look, going to look more internally at creating the, the layering. And then what this is going to do, it's going to give a real nice sort of shaggy texture around the face. With this, we're going to pull it up to the ceiling. And because we've got the over direction from the front hairline back a bit, about what, two inches? And then we've got from the crown about two and a half, three inches over directing forward into the ponytail. And then we're going to elevate because elevation creates softness. And then we're just gonna cut that off. Take out the hair tape, and this is all just gonna end up like a really textured shag haircut. Reason we're doing this, I put something in the community tab, a little poll, which was pixie cut, long layers, shag, something else, and the shag come out top. So that's why I'm bringing you this today. So let's get into cutting the first section, which is gonna be the top section. And we want to look where we want it to sort of sit. But remember, we're over-directing by two inches and by about two and a half, three inches on the back. So we know we're going to be maintaining at least the forehead through that, that over-direction into the ponytail. So we can go quite short with this if we're looking at creating a really textured, shaggy haircut. So I'm going to be cutting this. We're going to be taking it about two inches from the top of the, uh, the pony. Right about there. That's around about two inches. And then... All we're going to do is get a good shot of it. We're then just going to point cut that top off. So again, let's just really texturize that. So you see all that hair coming off. Just got loads of texture in there. So that's our first section. Next are the pigtails. So 
you want to create a really quite intense shag, we're going to again take it quite short. Point cut. All that off. And again, this deep point cut to create loads of texture. Just really softened off. Move around to this side. What have we got there? So it's around about half a cone from there. So half a cone there. So we're just measuring half a cone again, which is around about there. And just point cutting that off. Deep point cut. Now we have a so let's just talk about it first, let's break it down. So what we're looking at is we're looking at over direction, we're looking at elevation. And if we were to do this in salon, I wouldn't be doing it in a ponytail. But what I would use is I would use a reference point as a guide. So I'd be using the hot cross bun section and I would take a point from there and I'd be pulling it out. And then these would be over directed to that point straight out. And then the same with the back. I would take a section over direct to here, over direct, over direct. And we're getting this sort of a similar effect. So. See the shaft taking place already. Okay. Pull this tape out. And this hair tape only sticks to itself. It doesn't stick to the hair, so it makes it super easy. So let's shake that. Shake it out. Now this top section. there we have it. That is a shag haircut cut in three cuts. That is it. Three ponytails, three cuts, and you've created this, this shape. So let's just explain the shape a little bit more. So as opposed to my, one of my last videos, the wolf cut, we had a, a shorter sort of fringe area. It's because we had the ponytail further towards the forehead and cut shorter. So we ended up with more texture through there. What we wanted to create today was a bit more sort of shagginess around the face. So you can see here, these pieces are shorter because the ponytails were brought closer, the, the pigtails were brought closer to the, the side of the head. Uh, so therefore only a tiny bit of over direction was, was done through the front, which means you get a lot more softness through here. It was over directed more from the back. So that is why we've kept this perimeter nice and long. And then this fringe, shag, bangs, whatever you want to call it, is longer because we had more over direction backwards to maintain that length at the front and then it's given us a lot more texture and layering towards the back so if we just spin it around you can see there look how short these these layers are through here and that's because the ponytail was brought up here meaning the hair didn't travel as far away from the from the cut creating these shaggier shorter layers through there. So we've got all of that texture through there. And connection, you can see from these layers through here, they connect all the way through to the length, just giving you that really cool shape. So I'm gonna spin it back around. There we go, a shag in three sections.